What's up guys, it's Josie Sells DR and it's a little bit gloomy here today. So we're gonna take today's video inside. I'm gonna take you grocery shopping with me and show you kind of what prices are like here in the Dominican Republic. Everything is significantly more affordable from real estate to childcare to restaurants and even groceries. If you eat, you know, local, locally sourced, locally grown foods, you can cut your grocery bill like more than in half. It's also a lot healthier to eat the foods here because they are grown locally, everything's organic, so everything here comes straight from the ground and is a lot healthier for you. So when it comes to grocery stores in the Cabaret de Sisua area, we have Superpola, which you just saw, and then one minute west of Superpola, we have Playero. That's where we're gonna be doing our grocery shopping today. I like Playero because it has the biggest selection, um, imported and local foods. So I like to do the majority of my shopping here. All right, we are here. I also like Playero because it has a really big parking lot. When you go somewhere like Janet's and Cabarete, parking can be a little bit hectic. So lots of parking space here. All right, so when you come in, you have kind of like a little pharmacy knick-knack counter over here. They have everything from cigars to sunscreen to gift bags, lots of random stuff. They also have a little mini toy store, kids area with some toys. So if you ever need to come grab like a gift for a birthday party last minute, you can come here and find some, some cute stuff for kids. So on the right end of the store is where you'll find all of your like household stuff. At the back, they also have like a hardware area so you can find stuff for your garden and home pool supplies and they even have dishware, cooking supplies, pots and pans, small appliances. This grocery store is the closest thing you'll find to like a superstore in Canada. So just to kind of prove my point about imported versus locally sourced stuff. So for example, this Dominican brand dish soap is 85 pesos, which is like a dollar and 20 cents. And if you compare it to Dawn, which is 243 pesos, which is $5 US. Then you also have just little things for the kids, like beach toys, pool floaties, goggles. And in the last aisle, we have all of our cookware, small appliances, knives, all that good stuff. Okay, so here we have our Asian and ethnic aisle. You can find any sauce, any spice you need to make a curry or a stir fry or anything like that from soy sauce to sweet chili to tahini, rice noodles. If you wanna make sushi, they have rice paper, they have it all. For my vegan and vegetarian people, tofu is something that is really tricky to find here in Cabarete or Sasua. They don't have your typical blocks of tofu. They actually sell it in a can. So if you need tofu and you don't wanna to drive to, you know, Santiago where you can get the blocks of tofu, you can find it canned here. I'm actually gonna grab some of these. These are my favorite sparkling waters. They are Dominican and they have a little bit of sugar. They have 11 grams of sugar in one can, but it's better than Coca-Cola. <laughs> You'll find salad dressings here. They have all the craft salad dressings, tons of different oils. Um, they have like the infused olive oils, which I really love. Truffle oil, which I love. Also for my vegan, vegetarian, lactose free friends, they have all your almond breeze, almond and oat milks, 
I'm gonna get some of that. They also have oat milk coffee creamer. But as you can see here, it is a little more expensive than it would be in Canada because it's imported. So this small carton is, you know, closer to $10, where in Canada it would maybe be $5. Here we have all our like baking supplies, cereal, you'll find local cereals and imported Kellogg cereals. Now we have our frozen section, so tons of frozen fruits and veggies. They actually have like the Beyond Meat, Beyond Chicken in the frozen section as well. Lots of frozen meat here. I actually love these frozen steaks. Um, they come from the US, but they are really, really good. I always get the strip loin. So one steak is 428 pesos, so about $9. Pera suave, un poco. Pera suave. Pera suave. Si. Yeah. Gracias. Thank you. Fresh, soft feta. This whole brick is about $6. Across from the fruit and veggies, we also have like the organic aisles. So everything you find here is all organic. They have oats, they have granola, they have crackers. Fresh local honey. I love this honey from the company. This is a local company, so everything comes straight from the beehive. Gotta do the egg check. <laughs> Make sure there's no broken ones. Got some lettuce. Go. Tomatoes. Onions. I wanna make a Greek salad today. One red onion. So it's hard to find like yams and sweet potatoes here, but what we have that's locally grown and famous in the DR is yuca, which is very similar to a sweet potato, but it's uh, white and a little bit more starchy. Super nutritious. When you go to restaurants here, they'll serve yuca fries instead of yam fries or sweet potato fries. So for two and a half pounds of chicken breast, it's 431 pesos, so about $9. So for yogurt, I love these little individual, they're coming in these little glass containers and they have a vegan option. So this one is actually made with coconut milk and it's mango and chinola flavored. So I love these. They are 135 pesos each, so around $1.20, which is actually really good for coming in the, the glass containers. They also have just a plain flavor of the vegan one. So I'm gonna grab a baguette. This is about $1.20 for this. And then they have all the snacks from Pringles, to potato chips, lots of different nuts, candy, and then you have your imported bread as well. So the DR is actually one of the largest uh, suppliers of cacao in the world, which is really cool. So cacao powder you can get here. It tastes so different from like the Hershey's cocoa powder. Um, one of these little cacaos is only 150 pesos, so, so about $3. And then coffee, also locally sourced here. Tons of different brands. And one bag of coffee is about $5. So for rum drinkers, Brugal is the Dominican brand of rum. It is sourced here. It's for a 700 milliliter bottle is 626 pesos, so about 11, 12 dollars. I'm not a huge drinker, but I am having a girls night tonight. So I'm gonna grab some wine. This one. After midnight, it's from Tara. You'll find all the wine that you could find in Canada here, all the imported stuff. They have it all. Let's do it. All right, let's load it up. We 
have these awesome Dominican men who bring your groceries to your car for you. So nice, especially if I have my kids and it's like a total shit show. <laughs> you always leave a tip. Gracias. All right, we are all finished up at Play Arrow. One more thing that's great about this grocery store is it's directly between the airport and Sasua. So when you land and you're on your way to your hotel, you can just easily stop here and grab some groceries. Uh, great customer service. Everything's laid out really nice. Everything's fresh. So great place to get some groceries. So that trip was 5,620 pesos, which is just under 100 US dollars. So for my family of four, obviously if my parents are here, then it's a little bit more, but typically we spend between 8,000 and 10,000 pesos a week, which is around 200 US dollars. So Playero has plenty of fresh produce, fruits and veggies, but I always love to support local. I like to go to my local fruit stand, so we're gonna go grab some fresh fruits. So we are at the Colmado right across from Encuentro. This is my go-to spot because I live in Encuentro and you can get a really good deal on fresh fruit. You can always tell how ripe it is by smelling it. If you can smell the sweetness, it's ready to eat. Papaya is one of my favorite fruits. It's not only so good for you, but um, one thing that the locals do here is they cut it open and use the seeds as like an anti-parasite. So if you just eat some seeds, mix it with some honey, it kind of tastes like peppercorn. It's really, really good for just like gut health and if you have any sort of stomach issues or parasites or anything like that, it will cure it. This is star fruit. My kids love this because when you cut it, it looks like a star. That's the only reason they love it. It's a little bit sour, but I love them. Okay, that's good. Let's go pay. Come on, For six bananas, three star fruit, two avocados, two papayas, and a pineapple, it was 400 pesos, which is like $9. And of course, if you want to make the cost of living even more affordable here, you can just grow your own fruit in your backyard year round. I hope you guys got value from this video. As always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next week in my next North Coast Favorites. Adios.